Trust me, this costs an arm and a leg. I'm super grateful to God because he really just always outdoes or outdo whatever the English is himself in my life. He really is drier and he would provide both physically and spiritually. My God will provide. So thank you Jesus for provision in general. I'm so excited about this video. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you're new here, my name is Olua Ferami. And if you're not new, thanks for always coming back. So in today's video, drum roll please, I have a package. I'm going to be unboxing my skincare. I bought skincare like around last year, September, and I'm almost running out. So this is like a restock. Some things I've used before, some things I'm trying for the first time, but let's get into it. I was so impressed with the delivery of this package. I shopped from Tika on Instagram. They had like a controversy sometime last year and I bought from them around that time, but I didn't have any complaint or any issue hence why i'm buying from them again the delivery was very swift on the site they showed how they source for their items just to show that they are not fraud so i think everybody needs to calm down so i shopped from tika and on the website it said that it would come in seven to ten days but it was even up to three days and i received my package like the delivery was so swift i love the interface of their site it's very easy to use and understand and that is why i am a returning customer of tika so let's get into the unboxing i think there are five or six items in this package I have a video on my previous skincare like my skincare journey i'm going to put the link in the description box and anybody that watched that video already knows that i am a CeraVe girl so i am restocking on some of my CeraVe stuff and some i'm just trying out for the first time i just started using korean skincare recently and trust me my skin has really thanked me for it because i have battled with hyperpigmentation a lot but when I started using Korean skincare, like Beauty by Joseon, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, Snail Mousin, Cosarex, like those really helped me and helped me to combat my hyperpigmentation. So let's get into this. I'm, I'm even going to be showing you how I use these things, like combining this new product and my old products. I'm just going to give you the details so yeah let's start with the CeraVe cleanser this is like my third bottle of this big value size and I would always go back to it like there's no even contemplating about that because I have dry skin and I love the fact that it is not for me it is a cream cleanser it doesn't strip my skin because other cleansers after i use them i get this tight feeling like if i want to smile my face can want to burst but ever since i came across this CeraVe cleanser i would always run back to it so if you're a dry girly you should try this out because they made this specifically for us the second CeraVe product i bought is this cream for dry skin I can't overemphasize the fact that I have dry skin. That is a major determinant for the kind of skincare I get because they're meant to cater to the type of skin you have and not just buy random products. So this is also a cream I swear by because this is like my second my second box of this particular big one. But I've used smaller ones, like two or three smaller ones. But this particular size, this is the second one i'm getting and i would probably always return to this too because it just nourishes my skin so well and i absolutely love it this snail mousine snail mousine generally is not new to me i've used the cosarex one the one that is just plain snail mousine and the one that is snail mousine mixed with niacinamide i've used both 
so this is me just trying another brand of snail mousseine from jumiso so i hope it's as good as the corsair x1 or even better next up we have the tiam vita b3 source this is quite a viral product because i feel like everybody has used this but i got this based on the recommendation of a friend so i'm finally trying out the viral tiam niacinamide so we'll see what that does maybe in a month or two i will come back to do like a review or something then lastly we have this bright and clear cream this is meant to be like a brightening stuff because because of all the dark marks i have from acne scars and hyperpigmentation that's exactly why i bought this bright and clear cream it has ingredients like azelic acid kojic acid niacinamide tranexamic acid I, I hope i said that right tranexamic acid so let's just hope this works to be honest because i'm trying to look at the ingredients and stuff massage a thin layer into your cleansed skin until completely absorbed discontinue if irritation or redness occurs begin with once or every other day we'll see let's just hope it works so i'm going to show you the first use of this product because i feel like we're on this journey together already <laughs> so i'm going to show you how i use each and every one of these products in my routine how i incorporate stuff i already have into this new product so yeah before we get into that let me just say that this makeup took roughly 10 minutes i promise you i kid you not i'm not exaggerating it took less than 15 minutes about 10 minutes and i don't have any foundation on i would put a link in the description box for the tutorial of this video and you can check it out if you would like to know i mean it's giving so back to the focus of this video which is skincare so i'm going to take off my makeup now and just show you how it works so this is what the consistency looks like and usually how i use it is i put a generous amount and then i lather it up in my hand and then i work it into my skin it is that easy easy peasy lemon squeezy <laughs> now because i had makeup on i have to double cleanse so i'm going to cleanse my face again with this the same amount not too much this is what it looks like lather it up fresh and clean moving on to snail mucin this is the one of the cosarex that i had before and then the new one from jumiso so old meat snail so the consistency of the jumiso one is like more watery than that of the cosarex i don't know if that's describing it very accurately but i feel like this is more watery like it has a more watery consistency and it is less sticky the cosarex one is more sticky i guess so here is what it is looking like and i'm just applying this amount to my face and just letting that sit for a bit make sure you don't forget your neck guys it's very important moving on to the tm serum and let me just tell you that this thing is exactly like water this is the closest consistency to water i have seen and i've used quite a number of niacinamide serums i've used the ordinary um, good molecules natrium um beauty by Johnson and niacinamide serums are always kind of thick but this one is quite watery i don't know if that's a good or bad thing but 
regardless let's see what the hype about this product is hopefully it's as good as the previous ones i've mentioned or even better remember the beauty by Johnson i mentioned here it is i'm almost out so the tiam is the replacement for this one the star of the show is this bright and clear cream i'm super excited about this cream because i look forward to reading myself of this this painfully stubborn acne scars that i've refused to go away so i'm super hyped for this one it is yellow i didn't expect it to be yellow i thought it would be like normal maybe translucent or white but yeah and it's said to apply in thin layers so that's what i'm doing just a tiny amount just to show you the CeraVe cream and what it looks like it's so thick so yummy and juicy for dry skin but i'm not using this big one yet because i have a small one that is not finished so until this one runs out i'm not using that other one yet so yeah now i am set for bed thank you for watching this video up until the end and i will see you in my next video bye